I'm going to call you. I know you're an official, right. but I'm going to call you Coach Fitzdom. That's fine. Okay. Right. So so how long have you been coaching in softball? How long have you been coaching? Uh, six years as the varsity coach, but then many years in the youth programs. Okay. So right now, you know, you're an official. Right. Did you have any games last night, by the way? Uh, no, my playoff clear. Um, is done. Right You're now. done. Okay. So right now we're in this crazy, Jared and I talk about this a lot. We're in a, a critical shortage in officiating in all sports, right? It is not just because we're wrestling. We're wrestling right. guys. Jared's a wrestling guy. I'm a wrestling guy, but it's all sports, right? We're, we're in a critical situation. I don't think people get it. They don't. Why are we in such a critical situation with the shortage of officials? Well, the fans and the coaches go hand in hand. And really, if you get into this profession and you don't have thick skin, then it's not for everyone. I do it for the kids. The money's not great. On a Friday night, I just uh, read a recent meme email from a guy from Toledo who explained this whole thing that we're six, eight hours in on a Friday night out of our own schedule. And then we have to hear coaches and fans, you know, on the other end, do whatever they do to us for you know seventy dollars and a lot of people don't do it for the money i don't personally because i love the game and the kids but then you got to deal with that and people the officials just get driven away they don't want any part of that it's We're, tough our association is way down right now in football so we worry about the older guys retiring and then there's no new guys coming in and, and they're talking about going six-man crews and we hardly have enough right now for five i mean this is the worst year i've ever seen for people plugging in guys on friday nights that's that bad. What do we need to change as far as whether it be parents, whether it be our society, whether it be a sport, a given sport, right? You do softball, there's umpires. Right. You do this where you have five-man crews, six-man crews, what they want to go to. Right. What do we need to change here? Well, I don't think you're ever going to change parents or coaches. It's just all part of the game. I just think we need tougher people to get involved. And usually, you know, I got into because I played sports too. So we need to draw more officials in. I don't know how, honestly, because I try to recruit them all the time, and I can't, uh, just for the fact that it's a lot of time consuming, a lot of travel for a little pay, and people like their free time more anymore. But I think people that play the game should get back to the game that they played. And that's the way I look at it. That's why I do it. I don't know how to draw them in. I really don't. I've been doing football for 20 years. I do basketball for 12 years, and now I'm, I do baseball as well. So you do basketball too? I do them all. You're a maniac. I do. I love it. I like to stay active and stay in shape, and I love the game. So I like to give back. Do you think it's a situation where a lot of people have very little empathy? They don't understand how to put themselves in somebody else's shoes, and they don't really have experience in the sport. Do you kind of see that a little bit yes, being I a leading do. cause, would you say? Yes, I do. Um, for the most part, it's just a few people that drive the people away. It's not like all fans or all the coaches it's just a few and like i said if you don't have the thick skin then it's not for you then you're not going to get involved so that's the way i look at it i have thick skin i can take abuse and i'll come back because i love the game of the kids but a lot of people don't and then that's that's where we lose them i mean i i was with a guy a few years ago in doing the basketball class and the first scrimmage we did he was getting yelled at and he walked out right in the middle of the game and said I'm never coming back so just things like that yeah it's not for everybody I don't know how to draw man I really don't it's just that people got to understand we're short and we need to help and that's bottom line really I don't know can, can we clone more people like you I think that's what we need yeah, I think yeah. we got the answer yeah but you know obviously that's not the answer but yeah. it, it's wild though you know and I, I have my moments right like I'm chattering the whole time when my kids are playing four and five year old soccer and uh, you know the kids told me they're like no we like what you're doing the officials told me they're like no you're good you're what you're doing is positive and it's you're encouraging and you're not getting after us so i like to find this line right and i like to be positive and normally in wrestling i don't say anything because i'm commentating but last year i felt myself lose my mind my nephew was wrestling in the state semifinals and i lost my mind uh he was up by 10 plus points he's really pounding the other guy and, and they're they're calling us for stalling i lost my mind in, in hindsight i was wrong that was wrong. I'm gonna talk, I see that official. I'll apologize to him, right? right. And, and I, I want officials to tell me, hey, well, my over line, just talk to me. Right. Tell me, hey, take a seat, buddy. Well, I think the sports got to realize that they can't play the games without us. So 
um, maybe that has to go through their thought process when they're coaching a game or the fans, maybe that will help them say, well, we don't have officials. My kid don't get to play. I don't know. That's they're going to find out real quick. They are. They're going to find out in the next five because, years. Like I said, the older guys are getting out, and there's not enough new guys to plug in. And crazy. It is crazy. And I don't know. No answers for drawing people. But you, lo you love it is why you do it, though. Right. If you, don't, if you talk to nine out of ten officials and they say they're in it for the money, it, they're telling you the wrong answer. They love. The <laughs> they're game. lying. You know, they love the game. They enjoy it and they enjoy the competition yeah. level and being. Yeah. You know, you're you're a part of that. Right. You're in there. I mean, you're you're an invisible part of it, right? Sure. If you're a good official, you're an invisible yeah. part of it, and right? Every now and you get someone to come up to you sure. after a game and say, "Hey, nice job." And that's yeah. that's really because usually it's not like that. <laughs> no. But every now and then, a person that understands the game, they'll come up to you and say, "Hey, you guys did a nice job," even if they lose. So. You got to appreciate that. You do. Maybe we need a little more of that too. Sure. Yeah, people who get it. I try and do that whenever I see. Someone who's doing a good job, I'll tell them, like, hey, man, you did a good job. Well, I do it now because I'm on both ends, as yeah. a coach and an official. So I don't scream and holler at anybody at a game if I'm coaching a game. I just appreciate that they're out there helping the kids play the game. So High level of competition for young kids, right? Um, this is Pee Wee football, essentially, That's right? That's their Super Bowl, too. No, and this yeah. is it for them, right? And they're right. coming from all over Ohio. Right. Uh, Jared works you like dogs. So I got to get at Jared a little bit. Five, day, five games today? Yeah. How are you doing after five games? Normally, it's one. It's a one and done, right? It's fine. I'm on turf. I can run like a deer, so I'm good with five games. I love it. I like to help them out. I know they're short, see? so Sometimes it's a freshman JV that's two. You'll get caught right. into that. But, right. you know, most of the time it's one game for you guys. Hey, go over here next door and do 11 straight AAU games and see how you feel. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> I think I might collapse in the truck hearing you talk. All right, you got anything else for me? No, I don't. I appreciate coming out and seeing it from the ends of officials because we do need, you know, more to come out. And I don't like I said, we talked about how to get them out. No answer there for you. Could we see you on Bryce Roth's uh, podcast? I believe it's a technical explanation. I want to I want to say that's the name of it. Could we see you on there? Sure. I love it. Now I'm gonna make him. I'm gonna make him do it now. Okay. I love it. Very good. And you're a St. Mary's guy, so you know Bryce. So yeah, I do. Probably won't be an issue. So yeah. Hey, thank you for the Appreciate time. It. Thank you for your service. Okay. Good luck tomorrow. How many tomorrow? How many tomorrow? Five tomorrow. Oh my God, Jared Opper, what are you doing thank over you here? For all the guys Ten. to come out. Wow. You know. Well, hey, good luck to you guys. Hopefully, no rabid parents. Sure. Go get some uh, cold beverages and get your, get get your feet up. Yeah, and go Bucks. I hope they win the game. Oh, it's, it's getting right rough right now. Thank you.